Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to work on strengthening your serratus anterior in an overhead press position. So like when you're doing shoulder press, that sort of thing. Now this is especially important for people who are lifting overhead or playing sport overhead. Maybe you've worked on serratus anterior for something else, might be winging, might be pressing strength, and you've got it better, but you haven't moved overhead yet. And you're going to do overhead stuff and you want to work on your serratus anterior strength overhead. It's pretty important because if you've only just worked on it down here, like in a press position down here or pull position, but you haven't gone up, then you may be lacking a bit of strength. So I'm going to show you what to do. Going to keep it simple, okay? What you'll need is something like this long foam roller. You'll also need for resistance part, like a loop band like that. And then for the loading part, maybe a tubing band like that, okay? We're gonna keep it simple, like I said, trying to work on some rehab components of it to help you. So when you go back doing weights for shoulder press, then it's working a little better, but stronger. So the first thing I want you working on is a roll press up the wall. So this is like doing a shoulder press position, but up the wall. The thing about this is, it's gonna put you in a position where you are not fully overhead like that, okay? It's gonna put you in a position where you're forward. Now, this is really good for those who are also recovering from a little bit of impingement or shoulder rotator cuff issues, because it keeps you away from that full loaded position here. You start off rehabbing here, and that's also a position because you need to be able to push away from the roller. So I'll show you what I mean. If you put this roller on the wall like this, what I want you to do is go onto your elbows on it like that, okay? Now, you have gotta try and stay vertical with your forearm. So I don't want you to see your elbows going like this. It's probably because you've got a little bit of lack of external rotator strength. So try and work on keeping that level, all right? Now, you don't just roll this up and down the wall, okay? What you've got to work on is think, what does my serratus do? It helps protraction, okay? So we need to make sure that when you are rolling this up the wall and you're working your serratus to lift your shoulder blade up, okay? you are activating it by pushing away from the wall. So if we protract your scapula, switches on your serratus, then it's more active when you do a press movement. So I'm trying to train your brain to go, when I push overhead, I want my serratus lifting and scooping my scapula. I hope that makes sense. So the best way to do it, when you are on here, go back onto your toes. So I'm leaning on the roller. So I've got a bit of weight to push away from. If I'm too vertical, there's not much there, all right? So go away from the wall, maybe even a meter or so. Stay on your toes, keep your forearms, start sort of down here. Think about, I wanna push away. So the best thing you can do is go into the wall and retract. That's the opposite. So you go, okay, from there, push your shoulder blades away. Make sure your core's on there, you're not sort of sunk down in your lower back. So your core's on here, you've pushed away from the shoulders. Don't make mistake of just extending your arm and using your triceps. So when you push away, don't just push away with your triceps, okay? It's shoulder blades that you want to move, all right? So you go away. That's a crucial point to get that start position. Then you've got to maintain that position and roll this up, okay? Now, if you look at your elbows, you don't want them rolling in. You want them out like that. You don't have to go too far, okay? Because at the start point, you're just trying to go... Can I reset, protract my shoulder blades, turn my serratus on, press, roll that roller up and down, okay? Now you'll see that start position, I'm only going from sort of here to there. I just wanna get that start position going forward before I go all the way up, all right? So just work on the first bit, okay? You'll find that'll cook you quite enough in the shoulders anyway. So once you've got the first bit to sort of, you know, below 90 degrees, like that, okay, to then, so just above shoulder height, then you try and roll it all the way up, lean into it, as far as you can go, and then come down again. Okay, reset, core on, push away, load, and try and go all the way up. Now, what you can try and work on, if you find that your shoulders are a little bit tight, or you haven't got enough strength to keep your shoulders out like that, what you can try and do is challenge it by using your trusty little loop band. Now, if you're already having trouble with your hands rolling in, don't make this too heavy, okay? Because they're just gonna pull them even more. But it does give you some feedback to try and go, I need to keep my hands out. So you get some strength. You'll probably find though, the higher you go, the harder it is. 
all right? So what you can do with this is maybe just work on the lower range part when you're starting off with this rehab. So from here, keep your hands above the roller, of course, all right? So you wanna start maybe down about there. Pull that band apart. So that's giving me external rotation on both shoulders. Go onto my toes, core on, retract, push away into protraction, and then roll it up, keeping the tension on the band to try and give you some strength to pull outwards. You may find you have to adjust, keep your elbows in a little bit more to be able to do this and work on that movement. Don't lose sight of the fact that you have to protract. So every rep, retract, protract, up you go, okay? So start off on that. It's not gonna be pretty to start with, but it'll give you a lot of strengthening both in your serratus when you're above head, but a lot of shoulder stuff as well, which is an added benefit. Now, if you've got one shoulder weak in the other way, maybe you've got one shoulder that was winging, one rotator cuff issue on one side, so you're having problems going above head, maybe it's fatiguing, what you can do is swap that out for a tubing. Now, you could use TheraBand. I would probably use a tubing so it doesn't get sort of caught with the roller. Plus, if you've got a loop, you can put it onto your foot, right? So the side that you've got the weakness on, put that on the foot, so that's my right side. Put that on under your hand, okay? Now, don't have too much tension on that. Obviously, the more, the more tension, the harder it's gonna be. Don't cook it up with a blue band. I'd probably go for something like a red, which is your medium, even a yellow if you have to. So what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna do my little shoulder presses here with the roller. Now, I put that sort of on the inside of your hand, by the way, so it doesn't hit you. Then I've got load on one side. So step away, same drill, core on, retract, push away, and then load that up. And on this side, I've got some load here. It's a subtle load, but it's a nice one to try and improve a little bit of strength and maybe I'm lacking on one side, okay, to try and increase your overall strength, retract, protract, and work on that, okay? Now, what's gonna happen is the better you get, you'll find that your arm will go from sort of here to slowly, 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 more and more vertical as you go. When you get right at the top, it's probably gonna roll in a little bit, that's natural, okay? You probably won't find you can't keep it fully up like that, all right? But as long as you're not rolling in at the start, rolling halfway up, that's not too bad. But try and work on those components where you just start with a roller first, get the movement of the protraction part, get all that loaded up, and work on the lower part, then work high up, then maybe add a band on if, you, if your hand's rolling in, if you've got one side, you can use this. See how that regime goes for you to try and get you back to doing things like shoulder press, above head pressing, sport, that sort of thing. See you next time.